the, um, the links in the ovals are two really lists of other links. And the ones underneath take you directly into the data. So um, if we start at the top left hand corner, finding out about the number of EL pupils nationally and by region and by local authority. If you click on the link underneath, it takes you to something that will tell you, for example, that Barking and Dagenham has 10,000 EAL pupils in its primary schools, that's just over 50%. That's just over 5,000 in its secondary schools, that's 40%. So it tells you if you're a secondary teacher in Barking and Dagenham, you need to get even better at teaching EAL pupils because that's the future. There are more and more on the way. If we um, go across to the top right hand corner, we can get that data about every single school in the country. So if there's anybody from Great Yarmouth here, they probably already know that St George's Nursery and Infant has 64 EAL pupils, of whom just over 50% um, have EAL. It also tells you the free school meal number, which means you can calculate exactly how much pupil premium they've got, and possibly else what they spent it on. If we go down into the bottom left-hand corner, this is where we can get exam and test results um, for EAL pupils for the whole country, break it down by region, break it down by local authority. So if we click on the local authority and regional table, this one happens to be Key Stage 2, 2014, we can find out that uh, Herefordshire last year, only 59% of EAL pupils uh, got level 4 in reading, writing and maths, but that in inner London, 83% of EAL pupils did. Um, so well done inner London. But we can go a bit further than that, because there's information about um, EAL pupils' performance and progress within the performance table on the DfE website. You have to look a bit hard and know where to find it, but I promise you it's there. So I had a look yesterday, and I clicked on Kent, because I'm always interested in how Kent does. There's a school in Margate, and I discovered that there's 25% EAL, 17% got 5A to C for English and Maths last year. There's a clever bit where you can click on something that says progress and there you can find out that just 11% of its EAL pupils made three levels of progress in maths. So some of you are bored by that, some of you will find it fascinating. You can just dig in to all of that and find out all kinds of things about all key stages and about all schools in the country.